Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island. In the last episode, well, we joined the Brotherhood, we got the cochlea, we fixed up the manatee, and we came here to the mating grounds. And didn't really have much luck, to be honest. No, we went down, we tried to find the Sponge of Grande, um, but there's a big, angry, scary female manatee that's not letting us get anywhere near it down there. And then, you know, the guys weren't too happy about us stealing the cochlea, so we had to tie them up. Um, and then Dakava kept on going on about we need a tongue of the manatee and the special language to speak to it to try and get to the sponge. It's all very complicated to be honest. But on the upside, we are out in the fresh air on the open sea and it probably smells a heck of a lot better than it did in the bowels of the manatee. Um, so yeah, last episode we spoke a little bit to these guys and we have to try and figure out where the tongue of the manatee is and Santiago used to be able to talk to manatees but obviously he's gone so we need to learn how to speak to manatees from Desange, Desinge. Um what else was there? We tried to scare Noogie because I think he's going to break and tell us where it is Bug Eye said he didn't know it because I don't know, he was being really open and honest for some reason and as per usual Moose and Murray are like you know, they come as a pair don't they so well, Moose and Santino, but um, yeah. So, what are we going to do? I don't know. I'm a little bit stuck, to be honest. I feel like we spoke to most of them. Did we speak to Morgan last episode? I'm not sure. Hey, Morgan. I know you're a cutthroat pirate hunter, but do you have any female insight into this manatee problem? You mean the monster? The same. This thing is colossal teeth the size of a ship's mast, been killing any male manatee that gets within a flipper's lane. You know, she might seem cold and brutal, but she's probably just, I don't know, lonely. You know? Shouldn't she just stop murdering anything that gets near her cave then? What did you do when she showed her teeth? Hello? I ran away. Right. You know what I think? What's that? She needs another manatee to stand its ground and not be so afraid of her. She kills them because that's all she knows how to do. And if someone could overcome that fear of death and stand in front of her long enough to teach her something different, I think she might just let them. And then we could get the sponge? Yes, and then we could get the sponge. And then we can cure Elaine! Perfect! Talk a male manatee into standing its ground. Thanks, Mo. You're the best. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh my. Oh, I'm getting some serious Homer and Mindy vibes here from The Simpsons. Listen, Morgan, we're a married man, for goodness sake. We have Elaine. Even though she's with LeChuck at the moment. Oh no. Oh, okay, so... The manatee is just misunderstood. Poor thing down there. She just wants some company. Uh, is that a clue? Do we need to go back down and try and stand our ground, as Guybrush said? I think we just ran away automatically, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, can we go upstairs and talk to DeCarver? Even though I feel like he probably blabbed away most of what he had to say last episode. Ooh, what are these though first? A locket. DeCarver's locket. Voodoo trinket or a foil wrapped candy for the nougat center. Look all you want, but don't take it. Oh, of course, it's Voodoo Lady's locket that we gave to him. Square pitcher, round pitcher. The Voodoo Lady. A little younger, a little thin. Well, a little younger. And, ooh, a button? I never noticed this before. I wonder what it does. Skybrush, the voodoo power contained within that locket is not to be meddled with. The last time you fiddled with the powers of voodoo, you stupidly unleashed the powers of... <laughs> yeah, you know, that's probably a wise decision. We've been told off enough. Uh, okay, so to cover. hello, what are you doing? What is it, Swabby? Swabby? What are you calling Swabby? What you working on? Yeah, what are those pictures? So, what you doing? Working. On? Plan B. Oh, good thinking. You gonna tell me what Plan B is? Oh, Morgan's got a plan. Morgan thinks the Leviathan just needs a male to stand its ground. Well then, Cyrano, learn to understand their language and find the tongue of the manatee. Then all I need to do is find her a suitor. Well, we got one of those. We got the manatee we came out in, silly. 
He's probably a bit randy. Wants some action. Uh, Alright, so we still need to find the tongue, yeah. There's a scientist on Flotsam who understands manatee. We know who that is. You said there's a scientist on Flotsam who understands manatee? Yes, Santino learned it from him. Good luck getting to Flotsam, though. I shall not leave this spot until La Esponja Grande is in my hands! Ugh. Well, it's times like these you really need... A phone! <laughs> Why are there no phones in Monkey Island? Or not even, like, I don't know, two cups and a really long bit of string? That might also work, but um, I guess not. So the tongue of the man lets me speak, yeah we know that. Uh, what's this top one? I can't wait to get to La Esponja Grande! I can't wait to get La Esponja Grande! What? Why do you care about La Esponja? I, uh, just want to get good marks come crewman review time. Ah, very well then. Okay, alright, well then, uh, bye. Alright, that's enough. Suit yourself. What's in this... Oh, it's a file trunk. Open it. May I have a look at your files? As a trusted member of my crew, there's nothing I wouldn't share with you. Really? Go right ahead. Oh, it's a literal file record. And we're in there. Wow, he works fast. Noogie, Santino, Moose and Bug Eye. Well, let's have a look at us first. Crew member profile. Name, Guybrush Threepwood. Expertise, Voodoo Doll Assembly. We were pretty good. Uh, turn on, Grog XD. Mm. Creator Sphere, yes, porcelain, of course. Under things, Plunderoos. We're wearing Plunderoos. What are Plunderoos? Captain's notes. Keep an eye on this one. Hmm. Good idea. Noogie. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Sister Agnes, director of discipline. Whoa, look at the mug on that nun. Yeah, that is a mugshot. Why is it so detailed and, and kind of realistic compared to the models? It's really weird. You know what I mean? Why is she holding a ruler? Oh, because they hit you with it, didn't they? Um, Alright, so Noogie, expertise, percussion, turn on, leather, hmm, maybe he would like some fine leather jackets. Greatest fear, Sister Agnes, mugshot attached, oh, I see. Under things, briefs, ew, I don't want to know that. Captain's notes, not much use, oh, poor Noogie. So Greatest fear, Sister Agnes, that's interesting, do we need to use this as a, a way to crack him, you know, last episode, he seemed a bit quavering in his voice. Can we take this picture? Whoa, look at them. Can we click it? Whoa. No. Okay, fine. Uh, maybe we just need to mention her. Santino. Oh, okay. Name. Santino, a.k.a. Senor Santastico. The Sandman, Tino, T-Bird, Sir Santino, the Duke of Triumph. Blimey. Expertise. <gasps> Swordplay, ball fighting, pastry chefery, skin diving, matchmaking, treasure hunting, the language of giant manatees, and cross stitching. <laughs> wow, what can't he do? Turn on, being Santino. Greatest fear, utterly fearless. And under things, ooh, oh natural. That kind of makes sense. What a dish. Mmm. Captain's. Wow, that's a bit creepy. He sounds a bit like, oh, what's the guy from Harry Potter? Gildroy Lockhart. He sounds like, oh, he just can do everything and it's so amazing. But now he's dead. He's dead, so... Can't be that good. Uh, Moose. Uh, M. Mazalski. Expertise, leisure. Turn on. Primo talent. Greatest fears, bombers. Under things, it's all good. Hmm, it's all good? Yeah, okay. Captain's notes. Questionable worth work ethic. Unusual smell. Probably bad smell if he doesn't wash. And bug eye. Name bug eye. Expertise. P pugilistic? So I'm guessing that. I don't know what that word even means. Pugilistic? Or is it pugilistic? And it's about the dog. Uh, turn on. The blood of tyrants. Tyrants. The greatest fear. The life unlived. Ooh, deep. And under things are boxes. Yeah, very very standard, very plain, that makes sense. Captain's notes. Bit of a fuss budget. Hmm. Okay, well that's useful, especially for the uh the nun. I think if we go back and maybe talk to Noogie about Sister Agnes. Maybe we can hey, move, come on. 
Maybe we can get him to tell us something? I need information. I'll never break. Oh, there's no option about Sister Agnes. What's comfy? Comfy? You're a betrayer. But do you think Morgan is still into me? Oh, yeah, definitely. See how you still have all your limbs? That means she cares. Good. So we can do the face thing Arr. with him. Oh! Oh, crap, now I'm stuck in the screen. I bet we need to just do a random one. Do we need to copy the face that was on that picture? Definitely wasn't that. You... you can't intimidate me. Okay, right, yeah, bye. Alright, that's enough. Hang on a minute, let me go have a look at that picture again. Because it did look kind of familiar, the different... <clears throat> excuse me, the different faces that we were pulling. No, nope, not Guybrush, whoops. We want Noogie. Okay, so what do we have here? We have one eyebrow down, one up, one eye very, very small, one eye big, and just a sort of grin. Yeah, we've definitely done all those. Okay, let's go do that. This seems foolproof. We can crack him like an egg, and he can tell us where the uh, tongue is. I need information. I'll never break. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Arr! Okay, here we go. So, stinky. Yeah, that kind of looks like it. Let's just double check. No. No. Ooh, or was it that? Was it that one? That one's moving. No, I think it was stinky. I think that one was lower than that one. Let's just try that. Fish-eyed. No. Lazy-eyed. No, I think the pupil was pointing the other way. Yeah, that one looks a bit more like it. What's tweaking? No. Okay, let's do cross-eyed. And it was just a grin, so... Definitely not monkey. No. Yes, there you go. Stop! Ah! Please, no, Sister Agnes. Noogie, sorry. Who had the tongue of the manatee or you get the face again? I don't know. It wasn't me. I can't remember, though. You've got to believe me. Well, I do. But does Sister Agnes? Please. He doesn't know. Oh, all right. My face cramps up when I do it anyway. Oh, what like a charm. What like a charm. All right, so we know it's not Noogie. And we know it's not... Bug Eye, because he told us last episode, so I guess it's got to be Moose or Santino, but it can't be Santino because it's not Santino, it's Murray. So it's got to be Moose. He's got to know where the tongue is, right? Process of elimination right there. Boom. All right, you. Santino will snap like a twig. That's not good. Well, fine. Santino will snap like a twig. Two are like three times stronger than one. You'll never break either of us. You'll have to kill me. And I'm already dead. You got nothing on us, bro. Oh, I think I know what we might need to do. You can't stay tough forever. Watch me. Watch him. Do we need to kill Murray again? Do we need to take his head? Can we just pick up his head or, I don't know, hook it off or something? Give me a head. I'm going to have to adjust to life with the hook hand. For starters, I shouldn't do that. No. Okay. Can we... Hey, give me my menu. There we go. Can we... Where did we get this stuff from? Crown. Oh, from the chest under the sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golden wrench. What's that? The Mariana wrench. Turns a bolt at any fathom. Oh, that might work. Let's try and wrench his head off. No bolts to turn here. Damn. Okay. Uh, there's nothing really... We tried slapping him, didn't we? The wet fish. I don't want anything bad to happen to this fish. Oh. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, can we take your sword? Hey, Mo. Oh, we can borrow your sword. I thought she'd be very protective over it. Since, you know, we did kind of capture her briefly. But I think we're on good terms now. What else does she have as well, though? You work for the Singe, the Singe. How can I get back to Flotsam? That's useful. Uh, yeah, let's ask that first. Hey, you work for DeSinge. How can I get back to Flotsam? I need him to teach me how to understand Manatee. 
The next time you set foot on Flotsam, you'll be dissected. Catchy. You ever consider a career with their Chamber of Commerce? Failing there isn't an option. Lose your heart on Flotsam Island, along with your spleen. What you need is a way to get to Flotsam without being on Flotsam. Hey, that sounds like a puzzle. You really are warming up to my shtick. What does that mean? We need to be like a, uh, a hologram. Or maybe it really is the cup and string idea. <laughs> or... I don't know. I don't know what that means. Um, so we need a Skype. We need a Skype or Discord. <laughs> uh, okay, let's take a sword. Can I borrow your sword for a minute? Just for a minute. Thanks. Yeah, so we chopped off the head before. Santino's original head. Now we've got to chop off Murray's. Sorry, Murray. But I think you've got to be decapitated. I'm sorry it had to come to this. The tongue of the manatee location or someone here will never need a milliner again. Uh, a milliner? Hat maker. A hatter. I'm cutting off somebody's head. You don't have the stones. Don't I? You don't scare me with your sharp, shiny stick, puny mortal. I am Santino, the incontrovertible demonic skull, and I shall cause rip Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, man! What? What happened? We can't see! He did it! He's crazier than a sack of eels, man! What did he do? Santino's dead! Ah! I had it. Please, brah, don't hurt anyone else. Is this true? It's Jimbo, the Icor funnel. That's the tongue of the manatee. I left it back in the big guy's stomach. <sighs> Can't believe he's gone. Oh, well, that worked. That way, it was moose in the end. I knew it. It was the Icor. Th what, the, the, the bar tap thing? Oh god, that means we need to go back in there. But also, oh, uh, Murray, is that Murray gone? Is it going to be at the bottom of the sea if we go down? Or is that it? Is he just going to float away, never to be seen again? I hope not, I hope we see him again. Um, <laughs> just, just there, just looking a bit headless. Uh, okay, so now we need to get back down into the manatee then. I guess, do we walk off the plank? Murray? Is Murray around here? Oh god, there's a giant manatee. Okay, we need to get back in you soon. <laughs> Which sounds a little bit dodgy. Murray? Murray, no! I don't want to go too far that way, otherwise we'll get eaten. Or nearly eaten. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try and get back in the manatee. I don't know how. Is he just going to eat us? Excuse me. I think this is the manatee we rode in on. I mean, it looks okay, considering. Excuse me, manatee? <laughs> what do you say to entering that cave? The one with all the carcasses of your brethren around it? Was that a yes? All right, I'll learn to understand you and speak your language, and then we'll try this again. Oh, it's kind of cute, isn't he, in a... In a big scary manatee way we're gonna be like dr doolittle soon that's nice but that didn't work it didn't work do we have it's this thing right the seahorse head a seahorse head giant manatees snack on these things like crackers man if somebody made little fish shaped snack crackers for people they'd be sitting on a gold mine right i reckon have a little nibble on that hungry fella Oh, that ingestion and digestion has tossed the tongue of the manatee into the bile pool. That's a long way down. Oh, back here again. I don't really want to be back here. I feel like we've done this bit of the game, but nope. Back in the bowels. Trying to find a tongue. Well, not a literal tongue, otherwise it would be huge, but what they call a tongue of the manatee. Where has it gone? It's in the pool of bile. Do we need to fish it out? 
can't reach it. Well, that's why we use our hook, surely? Nope. I can't reach it that way. It's just too far down. Okay. What about using our sword? Well, Morgan's sword. Nope. I can't reach it that way. It's just too far down. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what we need to do. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. We... Oh, but Noogie's not there. Maybe we can play the bongos. We need to rise up the... Uh, raise up, rather. The bile level. I haven't played bongos since my stint as a beat poet. Hmm. Oh no, that didn't work. Well it did, but it didn't work for long enough. Huh. <laughs> Wait, I've got an idea. So, <laughs> Do we need to put the flopping fish there to bongo beat for us whilst we go and get the, the tongue? <laughs> oh, it's going very high now. Yes, perfect. Right, through the weird bump. Keep on flopping, fish. Don't let me down. Come on, move, Guybrush. Let's grab that. Got it! The Tongue of the Manatee, Travel Edition. Oh, brilliant. Alright, do we need to grab the fish again? I think the fish can probably stay there. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, cool. But we got it. We got the tongue of the manatee. Now we just need to get to um, what's his face, Dessange, or be in Flotsam, but not in Flotsam at the same time, and somehow convince him to tell us how to speak to manatees without him wanting to kill us. Still, not sure that's going to work, to be honest. Um, but I think this episode is probably running about long enough. Oh wait a minute, how do we get out of here? Is it up that way? Or do we need to get pooped out again? Let's just quickly get pooped out. Just a dabble, do ya? Whoops. Well, that was, um... Actually, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I don't blame you, Guybrush. It might be a bit traumatic. Okay, um, so yeah, that's probably going to do it for this episode. Next episode... It's time to find Creepy Dessange once again. Oh goody, look forward to that. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!